Hello everyone and welcome to another Ultimate Player episode review. This is for episode 10 of season 25, the episode being titled Time to Smash. And before anyone brings up, yes, I know my hair is kind of growing. I'm hopefully going to get it good on the weekend so it'll be nice and short again. This is about as long as I'm going to let my hair get now. Like, I don't want it to like just drip down and cover my face and make me look... Well, actually, no, it covers up my features, so it makes me look better. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to do the episode. Uh, I'm... It's nice to have one that's early and is actually out on the day that I watched the episode. So, yeah, let's see what happened. Uh, two fights happened. We had Hydro-san versus... Who was he against? I don't remember. Uh, against Jesse Taylor and James Cross against Ramsey Nijin. So it was a really good two-fight episode. And a lot of drama happened. Before we talk about the fights, uh, let's talk about what happened at the weigh-ins between Hassan and... Taylor. I, I forgot his opponent again for a moment. Um... So, the two were having a really good weigh-in. Um, you know, they both weighed in 171, which is within the limit of a wealth of weight. And halfway through uh, Hyder's weigh-in, because he was the first one to go up, Cody randomly decided to, you know, he just thought and said, you know what, I'm going to talk shit again to DJ. Like, before they actually went into the weigh-in, they did that thing, like, behind the doors. Uh, Cody saw the team kill short shots and he was like, yeah, yeah, you did a really good job there, that was a good chance to my prank. And, uh, it didn't say in those words, but it was like, mm. And they did have, like, a little bit of a spat, but it wasn't, like, super serious. And then when it got to the whole Wayans thing with Hyde weighing in, then it got a bit more serious with Cody, like, you know, making stupid threats against TJ. TJ defending himself once again. And then, you know, Justin Buckles joining in and Danny Castillo, who has been relatively silent when it comes to being a member of Team Alpha Male. Um, both calling out Dwayne Ludwig. Uh, Cody did as well. And, you know... This was during both Wayne's Hyder went up and weighed in and made it, Taylor made, weighed up and made it, and it got to the point where they were trying to do the stare down, but they couldn't because the coaches were still arguing. So James Krause pretty much yelled, will you all calm the fuck down and let them weigh in? Like, James Krause is a guy who, you know, from what I gather, doesn't swear much, very nice guy, very quiet and reserved, really good fighter. And to hear him go there, it was like, yeah, I mean, you know, if someone said it, I'm glad it was him that did it, because it needed to be fucking said. <sighs> Anyway, the fight itself. Uh, Jesse won by first round submission, resulting in a complete shutout now for Team Carbrand, so they have no hopes of getting any of their guys into the finale. Although Hodesan was a really good last hop, and you know, it's not like he couldn't get it done. He was actually kind of doing well in the first round because, well, it, it ended in the first round, because Taylor won by submission. Um, but, you know, he managed to get away from Jesse's first takedown really well. Then again, Taylor just sort of, like, really badly missed it. Then the next one he managed to get, and took Hyder down, and eventually, you know, just kept smothering him, managed to get his back. And... Uh, the first round Hector came up for was tight, but Hyder managed to stay calm and managed to break it off. Then Taylor got another one and tapped him out with that, so... Yeah. Sorry, a bit of loose skin on my finger. That's disgusting. Bleh. Disgusting episode, ew. Uh, but yeah. So, a really good win for Taylor. Completely shuts out any of Team Garbrandt now. It's been a good season for TJ. I'm not sure if I'm right. They did win the coaches Challenge as well. Yeah, it was TJ that won it. So, well, well done to them. And then we pretty much go on to the next fight because it happened almost immediately right after. Uh, James Crowes versus Ramsey Nijim. This was actually a really close and really enjoyable fight. So James Crowes barely edged out round one in my opinion. Ramsey Nijim definitely had the majority of round two. To be honest though, by the end of it all, it felt like Ramsey did enough to win both rounds. Then it went to a third and like by the third round they were both really tired. They both swung for the fences and it was a really exciting fight. Uh... James Krauss did manage to get the win by United decision. I felt like it should be more split at least because I felt like Nijum won the fight to be honest. He's a very underrated guy. I like watching him. Also, half of my face is shining because I haven't closed the curtains, but yeah, he'll be fine with it. Uh, yeah, it was a really, really good fight. Uh, James Krauss moves on. Hopefully we get to see Ramsey Nijum get another shot because I, th I feel like he's enough to earn it. I really like Ramsey Nijum. And the only other thing really is to talk about the uh, the semi-final fights, 
which are announced. And they are announced as Toothless Tom Galicchio against Diego Lima and James Graves against Jesse Taylor. So both are going to be really good fights. But before those announced, obviously, you know, when it comes to those big announcements, anyway, we'll try and get Sky Call if he's not anywhere near them. And he goes, Sky Call with uh, Dillashaw and Garbrandt, and you know, ask them who the who they would want. And Dan did point out that James Crowe's, like, after his fight with Nijum, had a really bad injury on his eye. It could take a couple of days to recover, but he will recover from it, which is good, because I want to see James fight again. Hopefully, he'll reach the finale and maybe win. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, Dan, Dan asked the coaches, TJ, you know, brought up his thoughts about it and, you know, made, made it fair and square. And as he was talking... The camera mostly decided to focus on Garbrandt, like, rolling his eyes, like, he couldn't believe what he was hearing, like, don't be such an idiot. Seriously, Cody, you're a great fighter, and you will probably murder me if you ever watch these and know how much bad I've talked about you. But don't be such an asshole, please. Don't, don't be McGregor, don't be, you know, a good-looking guy who can fight real well, and just don't be an asshole all the time. There's no place for being an asshole all the time, especially not in The Ultimate Fighter. Where you've got, you know, a bunch of guys with really high testosterone who can't reach the outside well very well. Just saying. You know? Anyway. Yeah. You know, Cody pretty much rolls his eyes the entire time and then he gave his thoughts. And Dana sort of, like, took both sides, actually, and then made those fights. So those are going to be the fights for the next two episodes. Because there's only two left and then the finale. And hopefully... Hopefully we get James Crowe versus Toothless Tom. That's the fight I want to happen. I really like Diego Lima. I really like Jesse Taylor. Like, Taylor's the best wrestler of, of this group. Okay, here's the thing. In, uh, here's my opinion under this remaining, remaining group of four fighters. Crowe is the most well-rounded. Taylor's the best wrestler. Galicchio was the most underrated. And Diego Lima's got the best striking, I want to say. He's... He's not known as a knockout artist, but he's got a really good range. He's got really good kicks, especially. And I think those will be a huge, huge instrument to him if he's going to be Toothless Tom. At the same time, though, the one I want to win the most... Sorry if you heard my stomach rumble just then, I don't know why. Pardon me. At the same time, I, the one I want to win the most is Toothless Tom. Because I've said it many times on this season. I said it many times on season 22, the first season I ever reviewed for my channel. I fucking love Toothless Tom. He's got a great nickname. He's a very endearing and likable guy. I mean, you can see this. This is something I neglected to mention a few episodes ago, uh, like when he was announced for another fight, uh, that obviously he won. Um, like when they were doing the weigh-ins, uh, and for this one as well, Diego Lima like, put his fist up, and like, you know, he gave a smile and stuff, and Toothless Tom was bad for his fist up, and he was like, nah, I, I don't do that. And I was like, yeah. You know? He's so likable, is Toothless Tom. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that he's got a tooth missing. I don't know. Uh, there's just something about him. Like, you know, all, all the other UFC fighters, because these are former Ultimate Fighter uh, competitors as well, obviously. You know, most of them got, like, jobs like, you know, electrician, uh, stuff to do with, like, farming. Toothless Tom, he got a job installing candy machines. You couldn't get a much different job to being an, uh, an Ultimate Fighter. Hell, Bisping did, like, you know, DJ and slaughterhouse work and carpentry, like, proper manly-ish jobs at best. I don't consider DJing all that manly, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I'm going to put this thing on him and spin it for you. I guess I'm just you know, a bit biased as a rock and metal fan and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the next episode. It doesn't have a title, but when it does, obviously I'll be able to review it. And I'll see you all next time for the next episode of Backtracking. Uh, which, if I'm finished, should be the Chris Cornell solo episode. But I am going to quickly look at... Uh, UFC events, if there's anything before that that happens. Here we go. Bibbidi bobbidi. Oh, the next one is this weekend. Ooh, Michael Chiesa against Kevin Lee. That'll be good. I really want Michael Chiesa to win. It's been a long time since he's seen a fight, and I really like him. So, yeah, I'll see you all either then or for my next backtracking episode, one or the other, whenever it happens. And, uh, yeah, just take care. And thank you for watching. Stay cool. You stay, you stay classy, San YouTube.